I want to make a video today for you about why people get um, upset, annoyed, negative, any negative emotion and why they lose their peace and why conflicts or arguments happen also and why generally we ourselves individually suffer. So I'm going to make break it down to two things which have sub-branches uh, just to keep it simple um, so it's easy to understand for everybody including myself. So number one is and this is ha help you to understand why people act out and why there's conflict in the world too. So number one is traumas, wounds, hurts that have not been processed, clarified, cleared up, healed, dealt with, accepted, faced, understood. So it's things from our past, our childhood, our upbringing, that things that we have inherited from our family and just overall traumatic or hurtful experiences such as being left out, abandoned, neglected, rejected, abused, tra like shocked and traumatized, um, any of these things, past relationships, things with our, mo our mother or our father or parents, um, th losses, grievances, it could be so many, deaths, anything that we haven't fully mourned, anything that we haven't fully processed or recovered from or healed. Um, things that can help us with this is energy healing, stuff like Reiki, um, there's, there's like literally dozens or more types of energy healing, they're basically all the same more or less I heard, it's just energetic, vibrational, clearing, healing etc. So when these wounds and hurts are released from our, the deeper layers or the subconscious, we feel them, it's like they've been, it's like when you do the dusting, the dust can become unsettled and then it's like smoky or dusty or making you sneeze or the room looks like, the air looks dusty temporarily. So this is what happens and this is what happened to me, with me when I first got Reiki around eight years ago when my spiritual journey um, first started. Um, I felt, I did a lot of crying and laughing for <laughs> like, for the first the, the first time I got it and then the second time I got Reiki um, I started crying and laughing a lot that day so it was a lot of releasing and I felt a lot better it, it was part of my big transformation some you can use a fancy word awakening but I won't bother just big big enough big transformation a life change within me massive life change and it came in time with learning and reading about from Peace Pilgrim and Eckhart Tolle as well two amazing people and teachers and inspirations of mine <coughs> Hmm. Eckhart Tolle is lovely and Peace Pilgrim is a really heart throb. <laughs> so that's number one. So if you're having trouble in your relationships, it's either because of other people are projecting and lashing out and taking out and unconsciously venting their emotional wounds, their triggers, their their upsets, they're taking it out on you instead of looking within and taking responsibility for their emotions and that's what our job is, to take responsibility for our emotions, not to vent and lash out on other people but to look within and not to be, basically speaking, hurting others or at least recklessly or uncarefully taking our, our shit, our stuff out on others but I really like to not say it's not really our shit because it's not like I want to disrespect it or I was just using common language there for a moment but really you have to really highly respect and regard and love embrace honor the stuff that we've all gone through it's either collectively or individually it's like deep stuff it's like meaningful spiritual soul level things in our spiritual journey in this temporary lifetime of our individual unique physical body and our unique personality that won't repeat again in this as this exact lifetime so it is a sacred and reverent process to to recognize and respect this in, your, in ourselves and others and then also to work on our own inner healing 
so that's what my main job is in life to purify myself is what I like to say and it is true to purify myself my energy my motives my reasons for doing things my intentions to purify my heart my heart sensitivity my care to purify and expand and improve if that's the right word that's what my job and work is in life for myself and to help other people with so yeah, I do do, in case you're interested, one-to-one -one healing work, help. I call it clarity coaching or empowerment coaching. And also it's healing work and healing and consultations at the same time. And, and empower, empowerment, as I've already said. So really good stuff there. You, I have links below and check any of my work or other things that I have and do to help out and to be of service to humanity, including Herbs, my higher self herb shop which helps not only physically, but also mentally, emotionally, and spiritually to support us. So, that's number one. The wounds, that's why people, either us or ourselves, our family or other people, or relationships, why people act up, um, act up in a disharmonious, negative way. And I mean negative as a mechanical description, it's a negative energy as in it's um, disconnective, um, breaks, disconnects, divides, instead of positive, which is literally healing, uniting, connective, nurturing, soothing. So they're just simply, they're not judgments, they're just simple basic mechanical labels, negative. In gratitude for the trees, the wind, the leaves, the roots, the branches, the flowers, the rocks, the air and the sky, and Mother Nature, overall, Mother Earth, 